Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownhouseLiving.com and today I'm pretty excited to be able to show you this new desktop application that I've been using to upload all my photos and videos directly to Instagram via my desktop. Whether you have a Mac OS or a Windows OS, this application will work for both. Now, Grambler's been around for a while. There was an older version that I was using about a year or so ago, um, and now they updated it, and this version is even better than the older version. It has a lot more features, and it's a lot easier to use. So all you need to do is download the application, install it on your PC, and then run it once you run it you will be asked to create an account for the first time so you'll quickly do that and then you need to just sign into your Instagram account and BAM you're done when you open Grambler you might get a flag saying that it's an unverified publisher don't worry about that Grambler has been around for a long time um, relatively over a year and they're trusted so you don't have to worry about that that warning so what I'm going to do now is take you over into Grambler and show you how quickly and easily you can start uploading too. So here's the interface for Grambler and they do have some other features that you might want to poke around with and, and navigate around and see if they're something that you're interested in. You can gain followers, you can earn coins. I personally don't do any of this stuff because I'm mostly interested in just uploading my photos and moving on. But there are some folks that like these types of things, so definitely check it out. One feature I do like is the history feature. So this shows you um, the history of all the photos that you up uploaded to Instagram. And as you can see, I've uploaded quite a few. I've been using Instagram, as I said, for a uh, Grambler for Instagram for quite some time. And um, I love it. It's, it's a great program. So let's get back to it. They also have a contest too. Like I said, just poke around and see if any of those features are for you. So click on the upload now on the left hand side of the application and you will be faced with a drag and drop interface. When you have your, your photo all ready to go, all you need to do is just drag it and drop it in the interface. Now, one quick note, um, I'm going to just redo this to show you. If you do upload a photo that's outside of the criteria for Instagram's um, square width and, and length, you will be flagged here and it'll say click and drag the mouse uh, on your photo to select the, cor the correct size. So what they're asking you to do essentially is to crop it. So all you would have to do is, you know, kind of guess what portion of the photo might be right, might be square enough for um, Instagram, and then just click save. Once you do that, you'll be prompted to go to the next window, and now your photo is all ready to go to, to um, Instagram. But that's not the photo that I want to upload today, so I'm going to go back to the photo that I had ready to go drag it and drop it in and I'm going to click save now once I click save I can have my choice of using some filters too so I can click on the filters and there are some effects and frames and stickers and other editing tools that are in here for you you can add text if you need to um, you can change color sharpness so there there is a cute little photo editor in here that you can use as well. I don't need to edit this photo because I edited it prior to wanting to upload it. Um, there's also a motion one for video. So you can click on motion and then it generates the video for you and then you can do things like editing and whatever else you need to do to your video. So it kind of saves you a step of having to do that outside of Grambler. You can just do it inside of Grambler. So it's it's generating right now, and since this is not a video, um, but it did turn it into one, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So it gives it um, like a little close-up effect, a little motion effect, kind of like a GIF, I would say. 
but I'm not going to be using it for that today so I'm just going to cancel out and go back into upload now like I said that's a pretty cool feature it's there if you want to use it so I'm just going to go back take my image drop it in there click save and now I want to move on so I'm going to click continue and you can see up here it kind of guides you through the steps so here's step one two three and four and within you know four quick steps you can get your photo or video um, uploaded to Instagram so now we're going to click continue and we're on a final window and this is where we put in our uploading details so if you wanted to tag someone write some text this is the place to do it so I have all of mine copied I usually like to do that beforehand get it ready um, either in a notepad or in a blank email and then I can just click paste and I have everything in here that I need including my hashtags uh, make sure that you follow the 30 hashtag rule because if you happen to put more than 30 hashtags what will happen is your photo will be uploaded to Instagram but your caption will all be blank so it kind of deletes everything in here and then you'll have to delete the photo or go on your mobile device and edit and you're kind of defeating the purpose here so make sure that you follow the 30 hashtag rule now you can also um, upload immediately or schedule it right here some other time so if I wanted to do this like tonight at 7 o'clock I can just very easily click some other time and schedule it out for later but since I'm ready to rock and roll all I need to do is click send it takes a few seconds you can see this little spinning flower here it's telling me that it's preparing my photo getting it ready to go and it's done literally took maybe five six seconds so now I'm navigating to my Instagram account I just have to refresh the page and there's my photo and here's all my text and all my hashtags tell me that wasn't terrific um, it's so easy to do like I said before it's the perfect way to upload your photos and videos from your desktop to Instagram it's a very small application it's not going to take up a lot of space on your computer it works fast easy and perfectly so definitely check it out um, please be sure to follow me on Instagram that would be great also subscribe to my youtube channel i would greatly appreciate that as well i will have all the information in the description of this video as well as in my blog post which i will have a link to and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to ask me them and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thanks so much for watching and have yourself a great day